Hi friends, it's me Isabel. Welcome to my studio again. In this video, I want to talk about how to confront your art fears, and I think all of them are actually summed up in one, and that is the fear of failing. Today, with the great exposure that we have with social media, everything you upload to the internet is judged by thousands of people in an instant, and that is difficult to carry sometimes especially if you are a perfectionist like me. What if I'm not good enough? What if people stop being interested in my art? It's really a lot of pressure. So even I've been painting watercolor for many years, I still have some fears. Today I'm going to try to face one of them. And for me is to paint big. Because if you fail in something small, it's like it's not that important. But on a big canvas or paper, it's like a small tragedy, at least for me. And people tell you, just face your fears. And you think, but how? My little trick is to take small steps in those fears to overcome them little by little. In this case, I'm going to paint a watercolor that I already painted small so that it scares me less and by doing so I can paint big watercolors in the future without any worries. Let's begin. And this is the watercolor I'm going to try to paint big. It's my Mon Fuji painting. Thank you for being here again with me. I hope you are doing very well. I just finished the first layer of my painting, but as I am the weakest person in the world, I cannot paint a watercolor this size. In one sitting, I get tired very easily, and if I insist on continuing, I start to make mistakes and finally ruin my painting. So I've learned to rest when I need to and finish it the next day. Tomorrow is Monday and it's the free day at the Thyssen Museum here in Madrid. So I'm planning to go there and see very big paintings and probably realize that my watercolor is small in comparison. So see you tomorrow at the museum. Bye!
is funny because now that I am on the middle of the painting process, I realize that I don't feel like the paper is so big anymore. Blank paper always seems huge, but it seems to get smaller as you paint it. On the other hand, when you start painting, it doesn't feel much different from doing it small, and that is another thing I've learned about fears. They always seem so much bigger and scarier in your head, but once you face them, they are never as bad as you imagined. One last thought about failures is that we always learn more from them than from success. We analyze them more so that they don't happen to us again, and that makes us grow much more than success. When one of my watercolors doesn't come out as I expected, I try to analyze what the mistakes have been, what things I can do differently the next time to achieve the result that I have in mind. I also recommend that when a painting goes wrong, instead of throwing it away, you try to correct it. It won't look good anymore, but you can learn a lot from it, because there is no longer any pressure to achieve a good result. And that freedom will make you try many things that you will not dare to do at first. Also, learning to correct mistakes on the fly is a very good lesson, because a painting is never going to turn out perfect the first time. You have to correct the course as if you were sailing a ship. And this is the final result, and aside from my perfectionists, I'm quite happy. I hope you enjoy it very much, thank you so so much for watching, and see you very soon in the next video. Bye!